Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name's Rob and this is my 1969 XW project. Um, this is uh, an Australian Falcon and I live down under in Australia, Brisbane, Australia actually. So if you're new to the channel, that's a quick intro. I guess it all started when I was a maybe 14 year old kid back in the 80s, 14, maybe 13, something like that. Um, and I really didn't know that much about cars at all, to be honest. My dad used to visit my uncle every week or every second week, a lot actually. Um, and I had a couple of cousins there who were boys and they were into cars. They were a couple of years older than me. They were more like my brother's age, about two years older than me and they were into cars. So I'd go there when I was a kid and uh, they'd be working on cars in the garage. And you know, we both had farms. I grew up on a farm. So my uncle had this big garage and my cousins would be working on this car. And I didn't know what this car was. I would think it was a um, 1964 Ford Falcon. I think it was an XM, gold color. And I remember looking at it going, wow, what is this? Um, and it just, I remember it looking really cool to me at the time. It had these like chrome 12 sliders. The car looked lowered. And I just really liked that gold color. And I don't really remember what they were doing to it, but I know they were doing it up. Um, and it was, you know, they didn't even have a license, couldn't even drive, um, but they were doing this up for when they got their license. Um, so yeah, that was kind of my first, you know, time seeing anyone modifying a car. And um, so my cousins taught me a lot about, you know, the different models. I didn't know. They started going, oh, you know, this is an XM and this is an XK and this is the difference. You know, the grill's different and the the lights are different. And if you have a look at this, you'll, you'll see that that's a XY or an XW or whatever. Um, so, you know, for, for a while I started like going, wow, that's cool. And I thought it was really fun just looking at the different cars and trying to find the difference and then learning about all the different models. And, you know, them sort of probably being a little bit more Ford fans at the time, um, you know, told me all about all the different model Fords. And then you obviously had Mad Max around that time and I started looking at those as well, you know, just, just being aware of the differences between the different models. Um, after that, um, you know, I had, I had this bit of an interesting cast, but I think around 83 or something like that, 1983, I think what really sort of made a big impact on me was uh, ZZ Top. She's got legs, the video clip came out and it had that beautiful, CZ Top 1934 Ford Coupe. And I was like, what is this car? That is amazing. You know, and they had the CZ Top stripes on it and the girls in the video clip. And it was like, wow, you know, that's cool. Rock and roll was in, in a real high in the 80s. So it was like, you know, it was freaking cool. That car, the women, the music, it was, you know, it blew me away. And I was like, I want to build a 34 Ford Coupe when I grow up. Um, and, I, and I loved that car for a long time, for a, a couple of years. But as I got a bit older, my, um, I was able to go out with my brother, who was a couple of years older than me. So he got his license and I was probably about 15, 16-ish. I got to go out with him. And, um, you know, my cousins were also around that age, the same age as my brother. And we bumped into them in town one day. And um, they just happened to be talking to this guy named Troy. And Troy had this car. It just happened to be um, a 1970, probably a 72, I'm not sure on the year, but it was a Ford XA GT Coupe. Now it was a genuine GT. It had 351 Cleveland in it. It had the big fat wheels on the back. I think, I think they were just 10 inches, but you know, for me, that was a fat tire for that time when the standard Falcons came out with like a 185. So I remember just seeing this car it was yellow with the black and it had the, you know, the, the vents on the bonnet and the, the fake vents on the guard. And I remember just thinking, this, is a, this car looks freaking cool. And the back tail lights had the slanted tail lights in the XA and I always loved that. The, the little honeycomb strip on the back. I just loved everything about it. And you'd start it up and you'd listen to this thing. I remember, you know, it's probably one of the first V8s that I sort of paid attention to. And uh, this thing had the lumpy cam and I was like, wow, this car is freaking cool. I love it. Um, you know, just, just thought it was just the bee's knees. I just loved it. But um, 
sometime later, we just happened to bump into Troy again. Um, I think with my cousins as well. And Troy said, oh, look, I'll take you for a drive. And uh, so yeah, we got to jump in. We went out, I lived a bit out of town. Uh, he drove us out near the local airport there. Was, wasn't really much out there at the time. And there was, a, I remember there's been a quite a big road. There was a T intersection. And he just let this thing rip. And we were just doing donuts. You know, you can imagine young boys. He was probably 18 or 19. I was 15 or 16. We're doing donuts on this, on this road. I was just smoke everywhere. I remember just sitting in the back and looking out of that little V cut out of the, of the XA coupe back windows. And I pretty much fell in love with that car from that point on. And I absolutely loved XA's. Every day after that, I was just like smitten by that car. And I said, I just want to get an XA. And as I got a bit older, that's exactly what I did. So I ended up with an XA sedan. It was a beige one that had a six cylinder and it had drum brakes. But it did have five slot kidney wheels on it. And it was cool to me. I loved it. I think uh, maybe I paid 1500 bucks. I remember mum and dad helping me out. And I was just like, I've got to get this car. I've got to get this car. And I loved it. And I had it for a number of years and um you know i spent time and i i spent time working on it as best i could and, um i didn't have a lot of money so i just did what i could uh, i remember i did a, a disc brake upgrade on it and upgraded the you know i put a gs dash in it and and uh with the disc brake upgrade i actually saved up as i one of my first or second jobs and i built a v8 for it and i still have it after all these years. So this is the V8 I originally had um, in that XA, my first XA Falcon. And I've just kept it and I spent, I remember I went to the local uh, performance shop and I had them build it. I didn't know what to do with it. So I had them build it and I think it cost me back in mid eighties about $5,000 to build that engine. And you know, to be honest, there's nothing that flash about it. Now it's just stock heads pretty much. It's a 302 Cleveland. Um, it's got a 650 Holly on it and aftermarket cam, but it, you know, it went all right and I had a single uh, four speed single rail behind it. Um, and it was a bitch to drive. Uh -huh. It would bunny hop, you know, when you just sort of, you couldn't idle along because it would just hop along. So, but eventually um, I always had that fascination for the coupe so I found a coupe, an XA coupe in a field. Uh, I think it was in Annandale in Sydney and it was just a shell. There was really not much to it. Um, it didn't have any guards, didn't have any bonnet, didn't have any dash. I think it just had the wheels on it. There was basically nothing, no running gear, no, no gearbox, no engine, nothing. Um, it had all the glass and everything in it, but that was about it. And I decided I was gonna strip my sedan and build this coupe. Um, that's what I did. I actually did do that. I put the front guards, the bonnet off my sedan. I got rid of the sedan body and I put this V8 in it with the single rail. It had 12 inch rims on the back. Um, it was a pretty rough paint job and I was sort of plugging away at that for a while. And I pretty much got spooked by the amount of rust it had after owning it for a while, um, behind the dash, unfortunately. And I just thought this is just, this is just too much. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Um, and I really didn't have a lot of money. So I just thought, no, I'm gonna sell it. And I sold it pretty much for what I paid for it. Um, and again, I pulled the engine out of it, the gearbox, um, and basically sold it to the guy for, I think what I paid just for the shell, about $600 <laughs> at that time. Um, the young guy seemed pretty keen who bought it. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's out there somewhere. So anyway, after that, I did have a number of different Falcons. I owned, um, my brother had an XD for a while, but then I pretty much owned, after getting rid of that, I don't remember the order of the cars, but I did have a few different ones. I had an XC for a while, an XC sedan, a yellow one. Um, I also bought a Tirana, a Holden Tirana. So I wasn't huge, hugely uh, into Holdens or different models, but I, you know, I did like other cars. Other cousins of mine were into like Hemi's, Mopar, so quite a few. Some of my cousins actually had, you know, the, the Valiants and stuff, and they still do. 
they still do, they're still into it and, and good on them because they're a great car as well. Um, so I did have a Tirana for a while, but I always had this passion for the Ford for some reason. And I think it's just because that's really where my enthusiasm for muscle cars came from, from the XA GT. Um, so I had an XE with a six cylinder, but I never really had any V8s and this, this engine just sat around waiting for some sort of project to come along. So I had an XE, um, I had the XC, I think that was mainly it. I did have, I thought I might've had a couple other ones, but yeah, I mean, it was such a long time ago, I don't really remember. And, um, you know, eventually I just started, I had a girlfriend and, uh, you know, I just started thinking about that and I didn't really focus on cars that much. And um, somewhere along the line, I really don't remember why, but I said, ended up seeing this for sale somewhere this XW, um, and I saw it, was, I think it was going for about $2,000 at the time. So I ponied up the money and I jumped at it, and uh, it pretty much is how I bought it. I didn't really touch anything. I drove it around for a couple of years, as it was, and um, then I basically, uh, I, was, I was living in a small town in New South Wales at that time, and I moved to Sydney and I put the car into storage. And, you know, life just went on and the car sat in storage for most of that time. So here we are some 20 odd years later. The car is now back and we're slowly working on it, getting it running. Um, and this is pretty much why I'm a Ford fan. So I hope you enjoyed this bit of a story of my journey to owning this 1969 Ford XW. And even though I originally loved the XA, um, Falcons, I really do love this XW probably more than any other car I've ever owned. And when I look at it, I'm just, I'm smitten by the look of it. I think it's a fantastic looking car. And I'm really looking forward to enjoying the rest of my years, hopefully, getting as much driving out of it as I can. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. And uh, we'll see you all on the next one. Catch you later.